After 35 years, Patricia Labar is saying goodbye to the Watertown City School District. Labar announced her retirement earlier this year. Throughout her career in education, she has been a teacher, assistant principal, principal, assistant superintendent, and ultimately superintendent. I've seen this through so many, di this district through so many different lenses um, that it's just been a great experience. Facing challenges from day one, Labar was the first female superintendent. From bursting pipes to the COVID pandemic and community tragedies, she said she had to find new ways. There are a lot of things that have happened here um, that maybe hadn't ever happened here before. And being that I was in the district for quite a long time, those were things that I didn't have any firsthand knowledge of, well, this has happened before and this is what we've done. The biggest success is that it doesn't, just because we've always done something a certain way, if it's not what's best for students, then we have to rethink it. With these experiences, she said she built an expansive network, starting at the school level, moving out into the community, and even across the nation during the pandemic. I, I mean, I can't even say to you that there's one group of people to thank. There's a whole, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. It takes sometimes an entire country to pull itself together. A superintendent, but also a mom of two. Labar said her decision to retire came down to her family. Having both of my children start kindergarten and graduate from this school, um, this district, you know, a place that I love, has just been really wonderful for our entire family. But now it's time for me to give to my family um, what I have given to the district. Looking ahead to her final days in her role, she took a moment to remind the community on the true priority in education, the students. Now is really a tough time in education for many different reasons, uh, not just locally, but statewide and, na and nationwide. I think it's time for people to start to pull together and start to realize that kindness does matter. We're here for kids, we're here for education, and then all of those other things are a bonus. You know, our district mission statement, if we could all live by that caring culture, I think that's where it starts. Based on these messages written in front of the district office, Patty Labar will be missed. She will close out her last day in the district on August 31st. Reporting from Watertown, I'm Isabella Colello. For more local news, go to InformNNY.com or download the ABC50 mobile app.